Hi, I'm Bob. We have examined the supply decision of an individual firm. Today, we will investigate the market supply. Take our ice cream firm as an example. We assume that there are 10 ice cream firms in the local market. All the 10 ice cream firms are identical, which means their production costs are the same and they produce identical ice cream cones. We consider two cases, in the short run and in the long run. In the short run, the number of firms in the ice cream market is fixed at 10 because new firms need time to enter the market. The existing firms could not exit the market either in the short run. In this case, the market supply curve is the horizontal sum of the supply curves of all the individual firms in the market. As shown in the graph, each individual firm's supply curve is identical. So the market supply of ice cream cones at any price is 10 times the supply of an individual firm. The left is the short run supply curve of a single ice cream firm. It is the portion of its short run marginal cost that lies above the minimum of its average variable cost. The horizontal axis shows the output of an individual ice cream firm. The right graph illustrates the competitive market supply curve. If the market price is lower than $0.5 per ice cream cone, no firm supplies any ice cream. So the market supply is zero. At the market price of $0.5, each firm is willing to supply 100 ice cream cones as in the left graph. Consequently, the market supply is 1,000 ice cream cones in the right graph. At $0.06, each ice cream firm supplies 120 ice cream cones, so the market supply is equal to 120 times 10, that is 1,200 ice cream cones. The market supply curve flattens as the number of firms in the market increases. Suppose there are 1,000 ice cream firms in the market, the market supply curve would be much flatter than this one. The market supply at a given price is the horizontal sum of each individual firm's supply at that price. So the more identical firms producing at a given price, the flatter the short run supply curve at that price. The market supply approaches a horizontal line at $0.5 as the number of ice cream firms approaches infinity. Now consider what happens if firms are able to enter and exit the market in the long run. We know that a single firm's long run supply curve is its long run marginal cost curve above the minimum of its long run average total cost. Suppose the market price is greater than the firm's long run average total cost. The ice cream firm makes a positive profit. New firms have an incentive to enter the ice cream market. This entry will expand the number of ice cream firms, increase the quantity of ice cream cones and drive down the ice cream price and profit until the firms are making zero economic profit. On the other hand, if the ice cream firms in the market are making losses, then some existing firms will exit the market. Their exit will reduce the number of ice cream firms, decrease the quantity of ice cream cones in the market and drive up the ice cream price and profit until firms that remain in the market are making zero economic profit. So in the long run, firms will enter or exit the market until profit is driven to zero. As a result, price equals the long run average total cost as shown in the graph. All the identical firms operate at 
the minimum of their long-run average total cost. The long-run competitive market supply is a horizontal line at the market price. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.